with only one of six from beyond the arc versus Boston College. We are inside a sold-out Reynolds Coliseum. Shot under 24% from beyond the three-point line. This is a team that likes to shoot from beyond the arc. Nice feed inside. Brunel missed the layup, and on the second chance, she converts. So Hayes goes just one for three, and now Virginia in front early. Camille Hobby working on Brunel. They look a little uncomfortable in the pace. NC State looks a little bit more comfortable. Virginia looking for them to settle in, kind of run some offensive sets. Diamond Johnson, one foot jumper, rattles in. Brown Turner gets the offensive rebound. Brown Turner, no. Brown Turner, yes. Virginia, 0 for its last four from the floor. And off the schneid, courtesy of Cameron Taylor. And look, they're in some ways fortunate to be two and two. Ahead, Mimi Collins wins the foot race down the floor. Cameron Taylor. Runner, Valaday. Virginia has success when they get into the paint and take those high percentage shots. I mean, you want to play from the inside out get yourself going. Hobby versus Clarkson. Nice from Don Camille Hobby. Flipping it over the top. They have grazed the rim. Still found Taylor on the repost. Johnson digs down. Taylor scores anyway. No help side defense. You're on an island by yourself. Let's see what you can do. Quick six for Taylor. And the answer from Johnson. Into the basket. And right here, she just gets Valaday on her hip. Goes right at Clarkson. Absor Coach Moore's calling out what he thought the play was. Taylor gets it inside and banks it in anyway. 12 of their 14 points have come in the paint. Round Turner gets to the spot. Valaday playing with pace. Still take it. Make it. Nice transition shot. I wouldn't recommend that for everybody. Nearly average about five threes a game. Uh, so he's got a dare to shoot that three. Crowd the paint of Diamond Johnson. Goes at two defenders and gets the nice one to go. Conversation for about 20 feet apart. And let's take a look at this Diamond Johnson layup. She does a nice little mini fake on Taylor Valaday. Get Thursday was Diamond Johnson's first action since December 11th. Hold her ankle on that day. Jada Boyd steps into the jumper. Tracy Moore for the shot. Nice pass from Brunel, but McLean was blocked from behind. Westmore on the call. Final seconds of the first. McLean trying to dribble around everybody. Where were her teammates? Even quadruple team. Well, pack ball. Setting up the Rivers three. First trifecta of the day for either team. How lights out. They were just shooting. You always look at the positive I side. Do, I appreciate that. <laughs> Jada Boyd knocks down the line, too. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, Jada. It's just my mom. Speaks to your hair, dude. Just to Vaughn. Her first use of the day. Here's Boyd. The luscious locks. Inside to Baldwin. Nice move. Pretty good hands. Defensive end there. Knocked away. Virginia, can they counter? Brunel throws it up and in. Cam Taylor with just her second three in 14 attempts this season. She's obviously been practicing still now. Confident enough to take it. Baldwin gave it away. That's the sixth NC State turnover. Vaughn sets up Alexia Smith. In less than 90 seconds, Virginia right back in after trailing by 10. Boyd answered from the corner. Boy, oh boy, Jada Boyd. Westmore was so happy to get her back when she was considering transferring in the offseason. Alexia Smith, nice take. She's trying to find something that works, a rotation that works. Clarkson blocked from behind. Cameron Taylor, Sam Brunel, just working the 
months off. Need a little bit of a breather. Rivers puts her head down, and that is called the block. The defender was set. Now, as we take another look at this right here, Rivers drives in, yep. and right there, Clarkson does a good job of getting. Rivers running the point for the Wolfpack with Diamond Johnson still on the bench. Rivers feeds the post beautifully for Baldwin. So now we know what they're going to do when Rivers has the ball. For the season, Rivers, Diamond Johnson, about 50% from three. Her size and focus in on McLean. Baldwin's got the mismatch, yes. She rebounds, she scores. Leaks out in transition, she does a bit of everything. McLean on the offensive glass doesn't get the call. Long way to go. Final minute of the quarter. Brunel takes it. Mix. Ooh, Sam Brunel bound the Cavaliers out. She can jump. It's a good word. Virginia turns it over. Rivers looks at the clock. Rivers kicks for Sam Brunel, McLean on the glass. She just plays so hard. Gets that one, puts it back up. Next one, job. Brunel, the foul, and Hayes, the bucket. I think she might have tripped on the foot of Javi. MC's day. Seems in control. lead of the afternoon for NC State. Carol Miller cuts into it, but still a 14-point gap to climb. Brown Turner, a relatively quiet day by her standards, but she sets up Bobby. Makes them compete for the spot, and Diamond Johnson was the sixth woman of the year in the ACC last season. Balladay off the glass. Rita Perez, man, does she have a three-point shot on her. Tough to see them going out the door, but exciting to build with some new players. Nice shot by Carol Miller. They play Carmichael over Chapel Hill next Sunday. So nothing easy no. coming up on the schedule. The following week is Miami and Louisville, and then they go to Notre Dame. Have Notre Dame come here is Valaday. Just takes it after now. He doesn't want to pick up another foul. Good now. Any more that? Now that you score on me, I'm going to one up you. I'm going to shoot a three. Rivers reposts to Boyd. Oh, Boyd. Beautiful move. So tough, Boyd. Just sized up the defense. Collins, double. Doesn't matter. Brunel the rebound. Mamie Collins, she was double team. She needs to kick that one back out. Wasn't the smartest shot. As Valade converts. Isaiah James back outside for Diamond Johnson. Oh, yeah. It looked like it was a little bit off. It's her first three of the game. She's made at least one in every game she's played this year. She's got 10 points, five rebounds. Cam Taylor responds. She's got 13, a lead Virginia. Yellow bubbles that can pop up with the noise gets loud. Oh, dope. I get it. See, you should have told me that before asking me that. There's another three for NC State. Some scouting going on from back in the day. Well, you know, Coach Mox was asked at her introductory press conference about who your biggest basketball mentors is. Cam Taylor connects again. But there was a time when Miller, who's a vet on this Virginia team, one of the originals, didn't have a smile on her face and shoot around. And now, whenever we see them, she's smiling, she's laughing as the three goes down for Mimi Collins in the Wolfpack. Playing the leading scorer, double figures in nine straight games before today. Presumably done for the day. Three points, 11 rebounds from McLean in 19 minutes. You, tag, you, you said something during the break that I'd like to share with our viewers. You said that her knee has been hurting since you saw Mir go down. It can't be empowering, oh. but man, can it. Cam Taylor just picked up her fourth foul. Jadia Green Turner now has 9.7 rebounds. 
hands on the deck. And she did that in the face of the defender. They were right up in her grill. I want to see if she could knock down another shot. Clarkson and one. Feisty Pierce competitor for sure. Still is. She's not even on the floor playing. She's coaching. Zaya James. James is just so solid. Like what she does for them defensively, offensively is Carol Miller. Carol Miller. Takes the high percentage shot, takes it straight to the... James sets up Hobby nicely. Averages 1.7 assists per game. So she's efficient. NC State has only had five turnovers so far this second half. That's improvement from where they've been in ACC play previously. And it's worked out for them. Well, just when I was saying, they were taking care of the ball. The transition the other way. Blocked by Brown Turner. Bouncing back from their Thursday loss here at home. Hobby, two more. That's how you take your time to go, Hobby. 87 points for NC State. And Virginia's got 62. Wolfpack 